Jay and Kevin show. Jay Daniels. If I was a betting man, I would put money on it that your life will end one day at the hands of Jay because he strangles you to death for saying stupid things on the radio. <laughs> and if I was a betting man, I would go with a duvet. Kevin James. Do you want to rethink it or is that what you really want to go with? I mean, it was actually so deep it took a minute. The Jay and Kevin show on the big 99.9 Nine Coyote Country. Beat the show, it's time to beat the show. Beat the show, it's time to beat the show. Hey! Beat the show, it's time to beat the show. Step right up, it's time to beat the show. What? Beat the show, it's time to beat the show. Who? Beat the show, it's time to beat the show. Where? Beat the show, it's time to beat the show. Step right up, it's time to beat the show. We are playing for Chris Jansen tickets at the North Idaho Fair one week from tonight. Whoa, that is real. Yeah, I just... <laughs> When things, you can put them in perspective like that, as opposed to just saying, oh, it's August 24th. Mm-hmm. All right, so 4410999, you win Beat the Show, you win yourself tickets to go see, and a parking pass to go see Chris Jansen at the North Idaho Fair. If you do not beat the show, then everybody else is back in with a chance to win. Beat the Show, brought to you in part by Uncle Dan's. Thank you, Uncle Dan. You're great. Just in case you weren't 100% sure. Actually, the best ever. Yeah, that's true, actually. Uh, apologize to uh, some uh, if you were on the phone there momentarily. I believe our lines went. Oh on, no, we, we had a little blow up. Well, we had one of those uh, cheap charger cords, and it uh, cut out, and now it has to be reset. Things happen. Slim's mic has worked since our early morning problem, so we're hoping that that has been taken care of. Now the phones had a little issue, so you can call back at four four one zero nine 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 and apologize for that. I don't know if that was my fault, but I apologize anyway. Well, as long as we have someone who wants to play Beat the Show now, it it's all good, Jay. Don't worry about it. Don't be too hard on yourself. I'm, I, I'm not sure it's... Okay, there it goes. Okay. I'm not, I was going to say, Kevin, I, it's kind of like the computer thing where if you watch it, it never resets. You know, you're like, oh, just reboot it. It'll be back right. up momentarily. And then yeah, you go... That was hardly stressful. No. And then you're like, well, maybe we didn't reboot it the right way because it was taking forever. <laughs> I just working. stared at it. Like, <laughs> you need to activate... Immediately, right. please. Yeah, that's weird. All right. Well, good news is, Kirsten, you're the contestant today. How are you? Good. How are you? Very good. Thank you. Um, hopefully you win. So you can go to this concert. Chris Jansen puts on a great show. It's a week from tonight. Are you prepared to play a numbers game? Sure. I'm oh. not good at math, but we D- got Hey, it. this is the best day to call. This is the best day to call because today the numbers game is closest to... Oh, well, perfect. Ooh, okay. the question, the answer is a number, and the person who is closest to that answer, they get the point. So, the, really, you just have to know numbers. Which, Kirsten, are you familiar with those? <laughs> um, I, I am. I okay. do know how okay. to count. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yay. That's good. All right, now you just have to decide who you're going to challenge, me or Kev. I'm going to say Kevin. Okay. Kev, okay. goodbye. See Adios. you, Kev. And let's play the game. Okay, 60 seconds are on the clock, Kirsten, and here's here's what's going to happen. I'm going to read you the question. You give me an answer. They're all numbers. It, you, you can be below or above. It does not matter if you go over. It's not Price is Right rules. It's just whoever is closest to the actual answer. Okay, and you can pass on questions that you want to. Okay. Or if you need to, I guess. Okay, we start with this one. How old is country music singer Ashley McBride? 36. What year did the last episode of The Office air on TV? 2013. How many medals did the USA win in the Olympics this summer? 39. What year did the first Burger King open? 1968. How many Land Land Before Time movies are there? (laughs) Seven. How many Pokemon are there? 500. How many seasons of The Voice has Blake Shelton won? At least eight. Okay. I'm going to tell you this right now, Kristen. You got two of them right on the head. Oh, my. Okay, so Kevin cannot be closer than those. So you're looking at at least two. You missed another one by two, which is good. We'll see. There's a couple that you there's a couple you left potential openings for KJ to sneak in there, but overall, a very good performance. Kevin, very good performance. We'll see. I 
I mean, Very she's exciting. got two. Here's what, if Kevin gets the same ones exactly right, she went first. She gets the point on. I love two. that. So I mean, there's two. She's what? got at least two points yep. right off the bat. I agree with that. Kevin's going to get the same seven questions. He's also going to get sixty seconds. Same rules apply. It does not matter if he goes over or if he's under. It's just whoever is closest to it. It's not Price is Right rules. Okay, KJ, are you ready? Yes. How old is country music singer Ashley McBride? Uh, she is thirty-six. What year did the last episode of The Office air? Oh, I remember it well. That was 2014. How many medals did the USA win in the Olympics this summer? We won 114. What year did the first Burger King open? 1961. How many Land Before Time movies are there? There are a lot. Uh, 13. How many Pokemon are there? Oh, good Lord. Pokemon movie, or Pokemon in general. How many Pokemon? Yep. I have no idea. Uh, I'll just say 12. How many seasons of The Voice has Blake Shelton won? He has won eight of them. Oh, and that, Kev, you got that one right on. Unfortunately, Kirsten got it right on first. And I told her if she got it right on first on one of them, she would get the point. But you did nail that one. You did nail it. And I'm proud of you for getting it. I'm proud of you for getting that. That was good, yeah. Uh, You got real close with a couple others. You did not get any right on. Oh, no, you did not get any right on. Okay. Kirsten got two right on. Let's see how we did. Really? How old is Ashley McBride? (laughs) You both said 36. So you're both going to get a point for this. She's 38. She's 38. Okay. You're right there. Okay. One to one. In what year did the last episode of The Office air? Kev, you missed it by one year. Darn it. And Kirsten got it right on. Right She's on. 2013. It? That's amazing. Wow. 2013. You're right there, though, KJ. That's that's not bad. How many medals did the USA win in the Olympics this summer? Kev missed it by one. I thought I got it right. You I missed was... it by one. 113 is wow. the right answer. You said 114. Kev, the point that's... is yours. It's two to two. That's impressive. What year did the first Burger King open? Kev's going to get the point for this. He said 1961. That is closer than the guess of 1968. It was 1954. 1954 for the first Burger King. Kevin takes a 3-2 lead. The crown's been around. How many Land Before Time movies are there? Kev misses this one by only one. Wow. Kirsten said seven. Kevin said 13. It was 14 of them. Jeez. Kevin missed I by stopped one. watching the 13. He takes yeah, a four to two. Fair. Takes a four to two. 14th lead. one left a little to be desired. Yeah. How many Pokemon are there? Kevin missed this one by <laughs> Kevin, over 800. When you said 12, I, no idea. I, I almost like, laughed out loud. And then like, I was I'm like, ah, oh, that's disciples. <laughs> Kirsten, Kirsten said 500. <laughs> 898 what? Pokemon. 898 ah, is, yeah. Pokemon. Got to catch them all, guys. It's four to three. Jeez. Kevin, the lead. How many seasons of The Voice has Blake Shelton won? You both said eight, but Kirsten said it first. She gets the point. And just like that, it is a four to four tie. I am not going to let a numbers game end in a tie. Is okay. that fair? Yes. Okay, so here's what yeah. I'm going to do. I'm gonna, I've got another question I'm going to bring up here. Kevin, I'm going to ask you to take your headphones off. Okay. Uh, the question is going to go back to the Pokemon. Kirsten, how many seasons of the Pokemon TV show are there? Um, ten. Okay, ten. So now I need Kevin, Kevin. to get back in. Put your headphones on, please, sir. All Thank right, you. I'm back. Kevin, how many seasons of the Pokemon TV show are there? <laughs> Whatever. What? Um, it's a question. It's a say we don't get to whatever. Well, I would imagine the correct answer is the one I got wrong before, 12. <sighs> You're going to be closer. There's over 20. Oh. Well, well, there's a Pokemon TV show? Oh. Yes. Okay. Okay. Wow. I mean, you won. I've got 24 seasons listed here. It may even be more <laughs> really? than that. But that's, it's a lot. Started in 1997. There's still seasons being made now. A bunch of different ones. But there's at least 24 of them. Kev, you're going to get the win today somehow with Pokemon. Yeah, congrats. You're a Pokemon expert, clearly. That and the disciples. Even though I missed the other question about Pokemon by over 800. By over 800, Kevin. <laughs> by almost 900. You missed it by almost 900. Uh, I feel real bad. I know. It seems like I it. do. No, Kirsten seems super nice. And she I really does. Want I really her to like win, her. But... You want to give her your tickets? Hey, here's what we're going to do. Kirsten, would you like to go to Chris Jansen? Um, I really would like to go to Chris Jansen. Okay, I'm going to get you tickets. Okay, you're you're going. Woo! 
But here's the deal. Kev, I do have to respect the fact that you won today. And I, I, I'm proud of you for winning. The win goes to you. You won fair and square. We'll, we'll, we'll give a caller seven tickets as well. Is that cool? You okay Whoa. with that, KJ? Yeah. Double okay. winner day. One of my favorites. Double winner day. I, I, it's just too hard to do. Kirsten was so nice. She yes. put up with Pokemon questions. Was. And so Kevin. She gets... <laughs> you said it. She gets the, the Chris Jansen tickets. We'll also give a pair out. They come with fair tickets and pa- uh, parking pass. We'll give those away to call her. 7441 Kirsten, hold on for just a second, okay? Awesome. Thanks. Yes, congrats. And yes, as Slim said, call her seven. Call right now. Congrats, Kevin. Which one's your favorite Pokemon? Probably Pikachu.